hello there and a welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a mascara first impression i've not done one of these videos for the longest time which is a real shame actually because i love filming mascara first impressions i do believe however that i have found the world's best mascara which is my long-term bay the essence Oh my gosh, I almost forgot her name. Oh my gosh, like who is she? That's a equidistant to forgetting your partner's name, forgetting your mascara's name, but the Essence Lash Princess, I've got one here. Just in case you do not know about the um, Lash Princess, this is her. She's from Essence. She costs about £3.50. She is the dog's bollocks like she's just amazing she is the one in the mint green and black tube they do do a couple of other versions but the mint green tubey one is definitely my very favorite she's beautiful but um no no like aside from that i am definitely open to a new mascara blowing my pants right off and you never know it could be this one so today we're going to be trying out the brand new Bambi Eye False Lash Mascara by L'Oreal. This costs £10.99. I am generally like a big fan of L'Oreal mascaras. Not as big a fan of, uh, as Lash Princess, of course. Like I promise I'm going to try not to mention the Lash Princess any further in this video. But she's just so good. Like once you've tried the Lash Princess... You, you can't go back. I mean, well you, you can, but you go back... You try another mascara and you think, oh my gosh, this is shit. And then right back to the Lash Princess. But um, I do definitely love L'Oreal mascaras. Out for all of the drugstore mascaras, I definitely do prefer L'Oreal. I love their Miss Manga. I love, oh, is it the Butterfly one? Wings? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But I do I do generally like L'Oreal mascaras. So um, let me read you out the description of this one. And then we're just going to go ahead. We're going to give her a go. Give her a run for her money. And see, can she impress us? We'll just see. So the description says, New False Lash Bambi Eye Mascara. Our first Bambi Eye False Lash Effect Mascara. Do you know what? What the feck is a Bambi Eye? Like, what is a Bambi eye? Is Bambi that day that was in a film and they had, like, is it called Bambi? I just don't know. Like, I feel like it that is Bambi, but then I'm thinking, no, is it? But then I'm thinking, well, what the feck is Bambi? And even if Bambi is the day that was in that film, does she even have eyelashes? Like, do days have eyelashes? I did not think they do, but in a minute we're going to do a search for Bambi just so that we can find out what the feck Bambi is. It says... Okay, and this is quite a bold statement. See your lashes transform instantly to an eye-opening, delicately curled eye look. Experience a never-before-seen combination of a buildable black velvet memory formula. Do you know what? This isn't a mattress. It's a fucking mascara. I, I know I say this every time I do a mascara first impression, but I feel like... The descriptions for mascaras are just so dramatic. There's so many claims made. They're just pulling names out of their ass, like memory, what was it? Memory, black velvet memory formula. We use this hyper real 3D technology to create false lash look. They just, they're making this shit up now. I just definitely feel, but anyway, that there's short bristles at the center of the mascara wand that grip the lashes in an audacious curl. I love the use of the word audacious in that sentence. Whilst the long bristles elongate from root to tip for noticeably long defined lashes. Forget false lashes with false lash Bambi Eye Mascara. Your dramatic eye opening curl will hold from AM to PM. It's meant to give you a wide eyed lash lock. Curls that stay up all day ultra black velvet intensity curved bristle brush to reach every lash it does give you a little tip that after you've applied the mascara you can use a lash comb to brush them through to separate them even more um, unfortunately i don't think i have a lash comb like i've got everything else a girl could ever need but i do not have a lash comb so we're not probably not going to be doing that today but i will be 
indulging in a little bit of finger technique. Okay, so I know that you've hopefully seen the wand and when make sure that you edit in footage of the wand over the bit of the description when I was talking about the wand, okay? Just make sure, girl, don't let me down here. Do not. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. It's a plastic wand. Was that a knock at the door? Or is it someone breaking in? Let me see. We just don't know. Okay, so the gate's open. I just can't be asked going downstairs if I don't need to. And I can't really see anyone from here. Can't see any car. Do feck it. Feck it. It's it's probably just someone breaking in, but that's fine. Like we we have a mascara first impression to do. The wand, it is plastic. It does have little kind of plastic bristles. They're definitely wider in the center and they're shorter on the edges as the description did say. I'm actually quite surprised by how short the bristles are. They just look very short, you know, and I'm, I don't really like short things. I just don't, don't feel like short things do the job sometimes, if you know what I mean. We're just gonna do, oh wait, no we're not. I want to find out what this Bambi thing is. So let me just do Google, Bambi, Bambi, Bambi. I'm now thinking it is that deer, is it? A deer? Yes, 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 I was right, it's fecking deer. Like this is Bambi there. You know Bambi, I knew of Bambi, but I was just thinking like, why in the world would you name a mascara after Bambi when, like Bambi, does she even have lashes? She has no lashes. This is not giving me much confidence in this mascara that the person that it's named after, well A, doesn't even exist, B is a fecking deer, and C does not even look to have any lashes. Why is she an inspiration? I just don't get it. On none of these images does this Bambi character have any fecking lashes. Oh, actually, she has a couple there, can you see? I don't know if you can see, just like, she has three lashes. <laughs> she is definitely not a lash icon. So why why we named this mascara after her? I just don't know, guys. But anyway, we're just gonna get straight on to the actual try on and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm rooting for this mascara to be fabulous, but not so fabulous because I love my Lash Princess. Uh, and, and, and the Lash Princess is like way cheaper. So there's that. Okay, so straight away, I sense that this is quite a dry formula, but the brush definitely didn't really pick up a lot of the, you know, the, the formula when I kind of pulled it out. Pulled it out, why did that make me think of boning? I mean, really, who am I? Who who am I? I, mean, I feel like we've got really good coverage just from this very first application. I do feel like one benefit of the bristles being so short, and also I think, you know, they do feel quite rigid, is that you definitely do get a really good coverage on each lash. And I don't really believe that you do really need a lash comb because this wand, does act kind of like a comb because the bristles are quite rigid. So I feel like I've got really good separation. So far, I'm thinking that this mascara would not be very clumpy. The only issue that I see is, you know, they talked about the longer bristles being on the edges and short bristles being in the center, is everyone applies mascara differently. So like I will often, um, go in like and use you know the tip to just kind of refine things somewhat but I'm going to try not to do that because that would not be adhering to the directions given by L'Oreal so I'm not going to you know go rogue here I'm going to just follow the directions I'm just working the wand as they described and you know so far I'm actually really really liking it I don't feel like it's actually given me any curl really. If anything, I feel like it's definitely added length. Um, my lashes look quite pointy, quite straight. I don't really feel like it is providing much curl, but you know, we can sort that out with the finger technique. So that's really not a worry to me. By the way, if anyone knows of any really good mascaras for the bottom lash could you let me know because I've yet to find one that does not give me panda eyes and I'm just I'm just 
wanting to be able to wear mascara on my lower lash again okay so this is after one coat and i'm liking it i definitely think that you know we have quite a lot of definition going on here and um, i'm definitely liking the length that it's given me uh, so i'm going to go in with a second coat just to see how well we can build this up and already i can see the mascara has dried quite a lot um i can kind of hear it as i'm brushing the wand through you know you can just like hear a little kind of scratch that says we're dry we're dry you're gonna feck it all up if you carry on putting mascara on us but i'll leave it there I do feel quite impressed with, you know, just the one coat. I definitely don't feel like this is the kind of mascara that you need to go in with multiple coats because A, I mean, it dries quickly, so you can't really go in with more coats. But B, it gives you so much definition and, and length. Like, I don't think you really need to be adding tons and tons of uh, coats so this is kind of how it's looking so far i hate doing my lower lashes i fucking hate doing them but i'm going to do them today um and it's going to be quite tricky because this wand is actually quite quite the big wand you know what the bristles lack the wand makes up for in girth if you know what i mean guys like really Okay, so I've just applied a moderate amount onto the lower lashes. And again, I'm liking how it's looking because it has given me a lot of definition. So, like, I'm approving of that. Um, I'm just not going to apply too much because, like, I'm definitely going to be looking like a panda. Like, if mascaras were going to be truly realistic, I think most of them should be called panda eye because they give you panda eyes. I mean, forget Bambi. She doesn't even have lashes we need a panda eye mascara that's just keeping it 100% real. Okay, so I am going to go ahead. I'm going to do my beloved finger technique before the lashes are like fully dry and lock into place. Um, because I am definitely thinking like they're looking quite straight and pointy. I really want to give them a bit of curl. So I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to gently press against my top lashes. I'm just kind of pushing them back. And what I want them to do is curl. Like, I need them to curl. I don't want straight pointy lashes. I do not want that life. I do not. I deserve better. So I'm just kind of pushing them gently, gently, gently back. And um, by the way, if you do not engage finger technique, I think you need to. Okay. So, oh my gosh, look at this. What's happening? Oh my gosh, I feel like we've got a ton of length um however i do feel like they're looking like really messy like why is that why are they suddenly looking so raucous all of a sudden like they look like you know they've just been to an all-night rave and they're a little bit squiffy they had one too many tequilas off the chest of a chippendale oh my gosh like okay so it doesn't look too bad but i mean they do look a little bit wacky, don't they, guys? Um, just a bit all over the place. But, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely liking the length. I do think that, you know, you can manipulate, using your finger technique, the lashes into more of a curl. But I don't really think this mascara is naturally curling at all. Because if you think about it, if a mascara was actually curling, it would have to defy the laws of physics to be able to like curl your lashes up do you know what i mean so i feel like then mascaras would like cost so much more because of the science that would have to go into creating the formula and um, to defy gravity um because i don't really know of any technology that's been created that can defy the laws of gravity apart from maybe a plane and a helicopter and And a kite actually there's probably like loads of things that are now drones that have been great anyway feck that feck that guys i never said i was a a scientist so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to do the other lash and then i'll be back and i will give you my final thoughts i am also going to be wearing this mascara throughout the rest of the day so if i do have any updates you know to give you i will do but um yeah i'll be back in a sec once both the lashes 
are complete. Okay, so I've not gone in with the, uh, the finger technique over on this side because I have realised actually that I think that the finger technique actually fecks up this mascara. I think it looks far better over here um, where I've not done the finger technique. Whereas, can you see like over on this side, it just looks like really, really messy and it looks like a completely different mascara. So I fully like... I hold my hands up here and this is the first time like this has ever happened like it's never happened to me before this but yeah the finger technique it's failed us today I mean who is she like really yeah so I'm, I'm not going to do the finger technique over here I'm definitely going to judge the mascara based on this side and this side that I fecked up so just to show you you know up close as best I can uh, this is how the mascara is looking again just one coat and you know what i don't want to speak too soon but so far kind of uh, what do we call it stamping of the mascara on the lower you know lower that just under my eye like we do not so i'm feeling actually quite confident that maybe this mascara will not give me panda eyes which you know if it doesn't then i am just going to I'm going to run up and down my street in my unicorn outfit and I'm going to scream hallelujah no more panda eye for me and then probably get arrested and sectioned under the mental health act but I mean you have to celebrate things you know guys life is too short not to really celebrate those special moments okay so based on where we're at right now i really like this mascara i think that it went on beautifully the wand was really easy to use it wasn't too big wasn't too small it really helped to separate my lashes it gave length it didn't give curl um and i definitely think that this mascara is one of those mascaras that is gonna make your lashes look quite straight um so you know if you're someone that has long lashes already and you just want a bit of curl this may not be the mascara for you because as we have seen here today the finger technique will only like kind of feck it up I feel it just seems to not respond well to the finger technique I definitely feel like if you have short lashes and you want just some more length this could work beautifully for you I think that 1099 is probably you know the best price that you're going to get for a mascara in the drugstore now because uh, let's face it all of the prices are just continuing to rise and i have tried other drugstore mascaras for around the same price and higher and i do definitely think that this mascara is a real kind of standout from other drugstore mascaras that i have tried recently so i actually really really like the bambi eye i am going to be wearing this mascara now for the rest of the day so i will be keeping an eye on it I, that sounds strange because it's on my eyes and how, how anyway i'm going to be looking in the mirror i'm going to be checking in on it throughout the day and if i have anything to update if i suddenly develop a hideous case of panda eye i'll definitely let you know and uh, yeah basically if i've got any further thoughts that i want to add to this i will include them at the end of the video but just going off this first application i am very confident recommending this mascara to you but just keep in mind that it, it won't give you a curl but it will give you length and do we all not want some length ladies i mean really guys with that being said i'm going to go i really hope that this video was somewhat helpful to you if you've been eyeing up this mascara or you are just generally like a makeup junkie aren't we all so anyway i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you in the next one Bye. Okay, so I wore the mascara for the rest of the day. Completely forgot to film a little update at the end, but um, me and Dre were just editing the video now. I and love mommy. Oh, I love you too, gorgeous. Dre is my right hand man. He's just my little helper, aren't you, Dre? So anyway, I wore the mascara for the rest of the day, and then I wore it the day after, and I am so pleased to report 
there was no panda eyes, no smudging. This is the first mascara I think I've ever found. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have had uh. mascaras that I haven't smudged in the past. But the first, I like, Jay, what are you doing, bud? Nothing. Okay, but I can't remember any, like in recent history, that have not given me panda eyes. Jay, do you know what panda eyes is? I think panda eyes is when if draw panda pandas over your eye. Oh, oh well, panda eyes is when you're wearing mascara and your lower lash and it starts to smudge. I was trying to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love this mascara. You do not need to do finger technique. Um, but anyway. I don't want that on my mouth. Trey, Trey. Yeah, so I really, really like this mascara. I think it's fantastic. Trey, your hair's looking fabulous, buddy, by the way. Love what you've done with it. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this mascara but just be warned that it does not really give you any curl but it does add length and volume and you don't need to put on a million coats of it so i feel like it'll last you for a while so we're gonna go we're gonna finish editing aren't we dre and then you're going to bed aren't you buddy Bye.